Greetings from Bermuda, this is BDA Lamy, and welcome back to the demo of Pyrene, an upcoming dungeon crawling roguelite deck builder. Uh, we took a look at how to play the game last time, uh, and at the end of that we unlocked a new character, Akahan, so we're going to try another run with him and see how that changes things. Continue uh, to the tavern to Akahan. All right. Uh, isn't Zoe your friend? Tell me, Zoe. It was a long time ago, but do you remember our trips to the woods? Would you like to? Cree, cree, cree. I thought so. Let's get going then. Off on an expedition. Uh, oh, it looks like somebody's built the watchtower. Uh, Matilda rebuilt the watchtower during your expedition. Here you can take relics with you to start your next expeditions. Here, you will soon be limited as you only have one talent point. Each relic has a value in talent points. Okay, cool. So, the more talent points we've got, the more starting relics that we can pick. Alright, what do we got? Uh, when you die, go back to the previous zone. Add a merchant to all future biomes. Reveals unexplored areas of the map and adds a secret zone to all future biomes. Uh, in danger zones, I add two wood cards, two apple cards, two gold coin cards, two health potions, or two spirit cards. Special power, your special power moves the votive altar in plane next to you. Halves the spirit cost of your special power. Um, chests, increase the chance of obtaining shiny cards from chests, whatever shiny cards are. Rerolls, reroll costs spirits rather than gold. Uh, gives a free reroll at the start of each biome, reduces the cost of following rerolls, and you can reroll cards in play in danger zones. Okay, um, it looks like we can potentially level this up as well, giving us access to more stuff maybe. Why don't we take, I like the idea of a secret zone. Uh, let's see whether we can find a secret zone, discover what's in there. So, to the mounds. Oh, there are three unused wood left in the village. They will be lost if you don't use them. Okay. Uh, well, we couldn't afford anything, but I guess we can actually put it into the cartography workshop. And then we'll only need 25 um, to be able to get that. Oh, there's four zones now. Only three last time. Uh, all right, what is your deal going to be? I guess we're going to find out. Uh, Akahan and Zoe have the uh, particularity of fighting together in danger zones. You can alternate between the two characters using this power. It's free and can be used at any time. Don't forget to use it. However, if Zoe dies, she's removed from your deck for the rest of the expedition. Watch out for her. Alright. Uh, and Zoe's Wrath is going to cost us 8 spirit. So he becomes temporarily invincible and attacks every enemy around her. Okay. Interesting. New cards here as well. Ice Ball inflicts three frost to three random enemy cards in play. Frost reduces the attack to exactly one damage. Uh, I guess that's not going to do a whole lot and it's going to corner us as well. So we'll go there. We'll go there. There, there. I'm trying to get my head around. Uh, so I guess now we would swap to Zoe and have Zoe attack the golem. And pick up the coins and spend the night. Are we... St who are we? Oh, right, yeah. We are controlling the, the one in the bottom left corner. So still controlling Zay. All right. Uh, Blue Scroll spends the night for free, inflicts one frost to drawn enemies. Okay, well, Zoe, why don't you go there? Uh, the Griffin has fly. A knight moves one space towards you and seeks to attack. Uh, I guess I don't want to 
spend the night just yet, so I'll use Zoe to attack. Uh, and I guess I'll use... Oh god. I guess I'll use Zoe to attack again. Don't let me kill Zoe too early. And I gotta go there. Red Herb heals you for 7 HP if you have 50% health or less. Okay, that will work for Zoe. This is interesting. This, <laughs> this adds... Wait a bit of thought. Okay, so we could move like hand that way and reactivate Zoe, heal. And she could take out both of those. So she's going to go take one damage from them, I think, is how that's going to work. So get the, oh no! In the mountains, of course. Cards fall downwards. Uh... Oh, shoot. Well, I guess if we... No, if we move there, that's fine, because Zoe's going to fall downwards as well. Switch back. Ah, right. And the number on here is how many moves it lasts. So Zoe moves. Oh, it doesn't go down to three. Increases by one when triggered. Okay, slightly confused by that. So yeah, only took one damage. With that, spend the night. And I guess we could move Zoe straight to the votive altar, but uh, if we switch back and try and kill as many of these guys as we can, uh, that would be best. Let's just pump them. Again. Okay, so I guess we're not going there now. We're just going straight. Level 3 chest. Uh, choose a card. Grapes. Iron helmet. Common shiny. It's a shiny. Gives you 11 shield, inflicts you with incurable, makes it impossible to heal hit points. Bill hook. Uses up to 2 provisions and deals triple damage to all enemies in play. Um, I think we're going to go for grapes. We want provisions. Um, oh, and we got a different deck. That's why we're seeing different cards. Wait, where are we getting our provisions from then? Uh, okay. So we need frost so that Zoe doesn't die, basically. Um... I guess blue scroll reduces the need for provisions. <sighs> what do I want to move in there? Maybe I'll just leave it like it is for now. Uh, and I kind of forget which way we came in from. Where did we come in from? Start zone. Okay. So, oh, there's nothing to the right of us on the map. Is this the secret zone? Your service for card improvements. Uh, we can't afford it. You're too expensive. Maybe if you lower your prices. Okay, Verde Walter. Okay, it's three random enemy cards. This is a lot of enemy cards, I just want to say. Um, hmm. Okay, do that. Oh god, we're in the mountains. Keep forgetting we're in the mountains. I mean, Zoe makes it potentially easier to... Oh god. Let's go... I really want Zoe to be Attacking the ones that are frosted. Um, it's gonna go down. Up the spirit. Over there. Having Zoe bleeding is probably a bad idea. So 
Grab the spirit. Take them out. Grab the spirits. Uh, I guess... I guess I'm doing all the work. Uh, actually, though, I can grab that, and then Zoe could grab that. And then we can spend the night. It's not too bad. One provision. What are we on? 7 of 11. Heals us for 7. Oh, but only if we're 50% health or less, which we aren't. Oh god, and that's a heal as well. It's also kind of wasted. But if I move Zoe, actually if I move Zoe there, that drops that down. That lets... Let's attack them. As a John. Yeah, so these are a pair, basically. Oh god. This guy's got two wives. Um, so we need, we really want to kill him. F well, no. If we kill him first, it buffs both of them by three. But if we kill <laughs> the two of them, then it buffs him by six. I'm not sure it matters that much. I guess I'd rather take out more cards. Uh, so, okay, Zoe, so go there, switch back, oh wait though, hang on, that might have been the wrong thing to do, that was very much the wrong thing to do, <laughs> oh no, now I can't attack him, I can heal, but then I'm stuck. I guess we can have Zoe attack this guy. Now bleeding, so he's going to take three extra damage on receiving damage. So basically we can't use you again. Although we could use you to wield the sword. That works. And then we switch back to him. Take him out. Oh, that buffs her. Um, okay, inflict frost. Oh, to the enemies that are drawn. Okay. Uh, thank God the votive altar is here. Let's do... Although these guys are frosted, so they're only doing one damage. So let's go grab the wood. Hit the sword. Ah, uh, he still cannot take out them though. Ah, uh, can get rid of him. He had bleed as well. That was fortunate. Okay, you go there. Switch back to you, go to the altar. Let's leave before we die. Plus one endurance. Two wood. What's in the relic chest? Poison scroll after spending the night deals as much damage to enemies as their amount of poison. Hey, we don't really have a way to inflict poison at the moment. You are immune to burn damage. Spending the night, trigger your special power for free. That sounds... Good. Uh, okay, so we've got one more, so we've now got the grapes in play. Uh, hang on, stay here. Did I miss somewhere I wanted to go? That was a secret zone. Um, some merchant, wasn't it? Can we afford it now? We can. Plus two to the selected card. Uh, let's do that one. More healing. And then leave. 
Next biome. I wonder what this fourth biome is. Okay. We've got an Urge's altar. But first, we've got this lot. Um, okay, so that is going to give plus one HP to all enemies. I think we start with you going there. Get the gold. Go there. Uh... <sighs> Do we get him to take that out? No, I don't think so. I think we go there. Oh, it does add one max HP. I thought it just healed them for one. Oh well. Uh, I suppose we could do ice ball. Let's do ice ball. Then we can only we can do that and just take one damage back. Switch to them and only take one damage back. Uh, heal. Switch back to what's his name again? Akahan. Akko. Gold. Uh, we should probably wait to use that. Uh, we do have our ability ready, and when we rest, we are triggering that automatically. So hopefully we want enemies to spawn there. Oh, includes diagonally adjacent. Nice. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, 4 out of 7 is not less than 50%, so that's not going to trigger. Uh, so what do we do? Switch back to you. Uh, we're not in the mountains anymore, so counts are not falling down. So we go there, we go there. Switch back. It's kind of wasted, but there's not much I can do about it. Uh, there, there. And back to you and the rest for free. Do your attack. Crazy ferret. Um, okay, you are frozen, which is good, although we're still going to take... A... Actually, are we going to take three damage? Poison damage, or are we going to take one? I think we'll only take one. That would be great. We did only take one. And the herb will get rid of it anyway. Uh, okay, you're only doing one damage to us. Grab that. Uh, you're only doing one damage to us. Grab that. Switch back here, grab that, grab that, grab that, that, and out. Uh, Vial of Fire. Enemies appear with two burn. So they take two damage when we spend the night. We're generally trying to remove enemies before we spend the night anyway, so... Yeah. Burning skill burn on enemies is triggered as soon as the status is applied. Okay, can I have both, please? Or Oak Bark. Plus two to wood cards. Um, I'm going to take that because I want to make sure that I get enough to unlock uh, the next thing in the village when we get back after this. Urge's altar. 16. Let's pray. We can add. A talisman of abundance gives us one provision for each enemy in play. And a talisman of ice inflict one frost to all enemies in play. I need to put those both on the same card or on different ones. Uh, what do you mean to put them on the ferret? Even we're not moving onto him? Do these get applied when we... when the card appears? I assumed it was when we went over the card. I don't know. Um... I guess what are we going to want to keep? We'll probably keep Red Herb regardless. Uh, 
And this could mean that even if we can't get the benefit of it, we can get secondary benefit from it. So I'm actually going to put both of them on the same one. Let's be done. Secret area to the left here. Uh, okay. I wonder if the secret area is always going to be an upgrade merchant. So far it has been, but can't afford that. So we'll have to come back later. Okay, ice ball. Let's start with that. Oh, uh, oh, I'm still Zoe. Okay. Take you out. Grab that. Uh, we will take you out, grab that, switch to Zoe, just taking one damage from these two, so that's fine, get the gold, and I think get the wood while there are no enemies in play, then spend the night, and also you're in the middle, which is perfect, so any enemy will get attacked. Perfect. Love it. Oh, I don't love it quite so much because now you've got repoison. Uh, let's move you to the medicinal herb and get rid of that. And uh, then let's move you uh, there and there and there and there and then switch back to him. Oh, shoot. I should have made sure. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, I think we just keep going with you there. Um, we're taking one damage here because they're frozen. One damage here because they're frozen. But now we're five out of 11. Oh, I was going to say, so this will heal us. Uh... Oh, shoot. <laughs> now we won't. Okay. Well, if we fully heal anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll get to the thing. Here's a card. Apple. Mm, no. Medicinal herb. Mm. Wooden shield. Mm. Uh. <sighs> yeah, don't love any of those. It's nice because it gets rid of status. I suppose we don't have any provisions. Uh, I'll take that. Oh, I think I'll keep it. Oh, we've got the grapes as provisions. I'll keep that at the back. That's, that's kind of the worst card we've got. Uh, a merchant. Got 14 gold. We're probably not going to be able to afford anything, but let's see. Uh, nope, we can't. So, um, shiny key would increase the chance of obtaining shiny cards from chess. Sigil of Faith. A special power moves the Verti Vaulting player next to you. Broken Skull, minus one HP to all enemies. A book of Fire adds three Fireball cards to danger zones. Fireball inflicts three burn to three random enemy cards in play. Okay. Well, we may come back if we get more money. Now, we go this way. The Corrupted Altar. Okay. Uh, Echo. Let's start with you. And... Go to the... Ice ball. Okay. So we can take that out while we can, and we're only getting one poison back from it. This thing now is kind of horrible because we're going to get four poison off that. Um. Although we can, we could do that and then just go there. Could go there for. Why did I take a damage? Oh, that counts as a movement. That's good to know. I'm glad I discovered that when he only had one poison on him and not four. Um, if I move him there, though, he's gonna be in a dead end, which is kind of a bad place for him to be. Moving down there, he'll be on four health, heal for two up to six. Still a bad place to be. A 
Ferret can't attack her. Hmm, this isn't great. Not great. I think switch back. Kill that. Heal. Oh no, we're gonna have stuck. Shoot. Well, we've got no choice, we've gotta go up here. Ah, uh, there's nobody in adjacent to the ferry for it to kill. Okay, um... If we can put the ferry back in the middle... Ah, oh, how can we do that though? Without going... Ah, uh, we need three provisions. I guess we've got enough provisions to spend the night. Put the ferry back in the middle. Damage does this do? Attacks every enemy around her, so does damage equal to her health, which is five. We're not in a great way here, honestly. Um, we're not in a great way. Uh, ferret goes there, it gets attacked for four, which is okay. I think we're immediately going to spend the night there, which I don't want to do. Ah, uh, no. Okay, well then. Could go. Could go there, there. That's kind of a terrible idea. I got no good options, I don't think. Going here is going to boost everybody's attack by one, which is awful. Do that, do that. Uh, I could stop the ferret from being attacked, but... Oh, yeah, I need to, otherwise the ferret's dead now. So we do that. We have to go up and then move the ferret more into the middle and hopefully somebody spawns there, gets attacked. Oh, we take damage, but we're next to a medicinal herb. So I guess that's good. We go there. Uh, we go down here. Oh, God, Jesus. Forgot. I saw he was had frost. I did see he had frost, but that was that could have gone badly. Uh, I need the red herb for Echo. Now this is a lot more tactical than playing with the other character because they got such low health. Um, one frost to all enemies. See one provision for all enemies in play. It's useful as well. Okay, let's go down there. Wait, they're up to 10 now. However, they're also frosty now. Thank God for that. So we go down there and that lets us kill them. Uh, and then we go get the sword and then we switch back to the ferret and they're frozen. We do that, uh, which doesn't kill them. Do I kill them? Do I guess I do, yeah. Kill them. Go. Oh, I should have gone there instead. Never mind. You're also a bit stuck off to one side now. Spend the night. We're only doing one damage. But the altar is here. Altar is here. Uh, Alright. So switch back. That makes the 
The special ability not very good. That's a reason to keep the ferret strong. Rapes. Kill that. I think we just have to go... like that. And... There and there. God. Feeling a bit rough. Holy plant, plus one max health. That'll be handy. And a relic chest. Choose a relic. Uh, golden Ear, when you receive gold, you also heal for one. Plus two to spirit cards. Spend the night using HP. The cost is reduced by one for each empty space. Just sounds scary. You've got a character with low HP. Plus two to spirit cards. Uh, Actually, I like the idea of healing when we get gold. Given with our health is so low. We could go back. Uh, did we go to the altar? I think we did, didn't we? Can't remember what the two options were now here. Um, okay, the only ones we can afford are these two. Use the chance of obtaining shiny cards. Special power moves the votive altar in play next to you. Probably live without that. Uh, and the other one, I think we did do this. Yeah. Okay. The other one was upgrade a card for 13. We should probably do that. I feel like generally one frost on an enemy is enough because we usually have enough health to kill it. So upgrading that doesn't seem super worthwhile. This would increase the number of enemies who were, inflict who were afflicted by frost. Which would be really good. Let's do that. And then back out. And down. Down. Into the grasslands. Next biome. Going east. Alright, got the Phoenix with Resurrection and Incandescent. Uh, let's just start off by icing everybody. Uh, switch to the ferret. And uh, go there. There. Now again, I assume we'll only take one burn. Well, maybe we'll just leave it for uh, the other guy. You're going to hit us for three, though. Which is not so great. Especially because when we go to sleep, we will attack for six automatically. So yeah, we don't want to do anything there. Switch to him. Grab that. Do that. Is fine. Except when we attack again, we're going to get three burn. Uh... But if we rest now, or even if we trigger this now, He, the ferret's going to get three burn. Hmm. Kate, hello. How are you? I... Ugh. I also kind of want to save this for if we get any more altars. So I'm just going to spend the night. Ferret goes wild. Takes 
four burn, but we can get rid of it with the herbs. I'm doing all right. I'm really enjoying this game. It's fantastic. It's only a demo. Um, same developer as Forward Escape the Fold, if you remember that. Uh, but a more kind of juiced up version of that. It's really nice. I think we move the ferrets. Oh my god. He's strong. Uh, well, okay. Put him there and then use the special ability and then he will kill those two. Switch back. Oh god, actually, what? Uh, mm. No, we got to clear out more of this. So Ferret's got to go pick up all that stuff. And then I guess we switch back to Akko and we all go to sleep again. Ferret kills one thing. Okay, it's all right. Those are frozen. What froze those? One of these. Need to remember we heal when we get gold. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, nobody needs the big heal yet. However, uh, I think we switch. We go there, we go there, we go there, we go there because you're still frozen. Uh, we go along there, and there, and there, and then switch to him, and then clear out along there, and there, and there, then spend the night. Love how the ferret goes wild. Ble yeah, bleed could, hang on, bleed could be, oh no, bleed couldn't be bad because when he goes wild, he doesn't take any damage back. So that just gets rid of the bleed effect immediately. So that's actually quite nice. I like this character. This is fun. This is, this is very different. Uh, we've got another Phoenix. How much do we care? It's tempting to send the ferret into the middle and make him go wild, but that... Could that kill him? The bleed wouldn't trigger... I think that works. I think that works. Famous last words. Oh, no, it doesn't because I've cut off the path back to the altar. Unless I want to spend the night again, which I don't because it's going to cost me two health. I mean, I could. Two provisions and two health. Oh, that was stupid. No, I guess we just we just go. We can do without the higher rewards. Oh, I should have sent him across the top there. Oh, I think we, yeah, we might get to pick up the spirit anyway, maybe. Choose a card, Fireball. Uh, flicks three burn to three random enemy cards in play. Honey, doubles your HP and provisions. Wheat, gives you five provisions and the excess is dealt as damage to all enemies in play. I really like wheat. It's epic. Doubles your HP and provisions. But that's probably not that useful. Yeah, I'm going to go for wheat. Seems more useful. Um, like one more endurance, please. Guess we don't get the heal, but it's probably better than grapes. Grapes is a common. Okay, so we can go up to a merchant. Don't have a ton of money. East to Urge's altar. 16 enough to upgrade. I'm not sure. I've got to end up going east anyway. Let's go up first. 15 to add 2 to the selected card. Yeah, let's add 
two to wheat. Then go up. Okay, let's go get the ice ball first. Then we can go clear this side of the field. And the ferret can go safely clear the other side of the field. And then we can spend the night for two. Ferret goes wild. Ferret gets burnt. Ah, uh, that's okay. Ferret can go to medicinal herb. I trigger this now. What order does stuff happen in? I guess. I guess it probably doesn't matter. You'll get... Uh, we'll let Frost go on him first. I think it might. Even if he got three more... Burn. And then it triggered the burn. He'd still be alive. So I think that would be alright. Uh, but do I want to do that anyway, though? No, I guess what I want to do, really, is move him in the middle. Uh, and then do that, and he will attack everybody. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and then we can take out... Uh, hang on, how do we do this? But the only thing now is, yeah, when we spend the night, he's taking four damage. Could go up there, attack her. Would that be all right? I'm trying to think how to clear as many cards as possible. I think he'd be all right. And he takes one damage back. Gets a poison. Oh, that's okay. Brilliant. Perfect. Get the herb. Cures all status effects. He moves over here. I think we do wait. We've just got enough provisions. The altar is there. Just go get the wheat. Down there. Down there. Down there. Kill him. Uh, switch to the ferret. Grab this. Uh, switch back to him. He won't get the heal, so we just grab that and out. Okay, gold coins. Relic chest. Do we want another plus two to wood cards? You can exceed the maximum limit of provisions. That sounds... Hmm, actually that sounds normally great, but maybe not so great for wheat. Because uh, we will no longer have any excess. So actually that's, yeah, it's probably not good for her. This guy, chain kills give you a combo. When it ends, you heal. Uh, I assume chain kills is... Where's a chain kill defined? Kill then immediately kill another enemy without picking up the loot from the first one first, maybe? I am not sure, but I'll take it. Any extra healing is probably good. Uh, secret area. Holy apple. Plus one maximum provisions permanently. 
Uh, I guess again, it means we do potentially less damage, but that's fine. Okay, going east. I guess alter. 24, we just have 24. Generates a random healing card. Uh, gives plus three and gives you three shield. Split these as we want. Um, uh, I guess putting the plus three on the wheat. It's more likely to have excess damage that's dealt to every enemy in play. Um, wait, generates a random healing card. Not sure that matters too much. We'll just stick it on the same one. Gives you three shield. I did not mean to X out of that. Damn it! Can I go back and get it? I can. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. Um, plus three shield. Yeah, I don't think it particularly matters what we put it on. I'll put it on blue scroll. Okay. East. Ferret, freeze, and then kill as many people as he can. Uh, that may be too much for you, switch back to him. Grab the wood. One burn, this would give us three burn. We've kind of got to do it though, we got to clear out as much as we can. Uh, that's going to take us down to five, we'll then take four damage when we rest. We're down to one HP. I don't really like the sounds of that. Uh, have we got combo now. So when it ends, we heal. Okay. When does it end? <laughs> when does it end? When's my combo ending? I want my combo to end so I can heal, please. Uh, this is very scary. I'm gonna move the ferret there, and there, and there, and then, oh my god, please don't die. Move you there. This is three shield. Ferret kills out a bunch of things. Combo times four. I don't, I'm not sure how this is. Did we, did we not take the thing that... Hang on. Did we not take the thing that actually heals us? What we did. Chain kills give you a combo. When it ends, you heal. I've definitely not healed off that combo. Uh, fortunately... Oh, unfortunately, you've got five poison. Okay, but we can move him to the herbs, so that's fine. Let's move you here, though. Okay, that does trigger on you. We should have moved you first. That's fine, because that heals anyway. You're frozen, so the ferret is going to come and kill you. Actually, mm, this is wasted. Yeah. 
This is wasted. Uh, I suppose I can... Yeah, it's going to give us 10 provisions anyway, so we can afford to do another rest, I think. Also, it leaves the ferry in a great position to attack everybody. And then move there and kill everybody else, basically. Uh, and the altar's here. Good. Okay, easy. Switch back to you. Go down, across, up, across, down. Two gold, level seven chest. Healing staff, deal two damage to all enemies in play. Heals your HP by the total damage inflicted. Additional herb, uh, again, or double bow, deals three damage to the two enemies with the most HP. Two damage to all enemies in play. That sounds pretty good. Let's take that. Oh god, I need more carrying capacity though. Uh, we could swap out. We could swap out red herb, I suppose. Ah, I buffed that twice. Maybe that's a reason not to buff cards multiple times unless you're sure you're going to keep them. This is probably more usable as healing and it guarantees... Uh, we can damage as well. All it does require are enemies, I suppose. Uh, let's swap it out. Go. We can go down to the end of the expedition. Or that way to the merchant. Let's go see what the merchant's got. And also the hidden zone. I think. You're selling a single bow. Honey. Explosion potion. Inflicts four burn to adjacent enemies. Triggers chain reaction on their adjacent enemies. Or more grapes. Um, i sure that I care about any of that. Nice. Free equipment chest. Uh, one gold coin. Some more wheat. Golden arrow. Spend two gold and kill one random non-boss enemy in play. Triggered twice. We've got plenty of gold that we're probably not going to spend now. Uh, I don't think it's going to matter though, because I don't think, I think I'd rather have we in my deck, so I'm just going to leave that as it is. Alright, end of expedition. Pyrene, you again die! Okay, we don't have our super duper power up that we had last time, so this may be a little trickier. Uh, God, we've actually got to... Oh, well, no, I can get my ferret to attack you, but I can only do that twice. Uh... Hmm. Which will do 14 damage. Uh, I wonder if we can freeze her. Let's see. No, probably not. Um, well, if the ferret's going to do 14 damage, it's I've only got to do 14, which means I've only got to hit her twice, which I think I can do. Oh, but she changes position after being attacked. Is that a clue after being attacked by a ferret? Let's move the ferret and trigger it. Oh, did move after the ferret attacked. Okay. Still in a position where the ferret can hit her though. 
Take seven damage, all right. Oh, but now, hang on, no, that's why I wanted to attack first. Ah, oh, tricky. That is why I wanted to attack first. We trigger it again. up to six yeah i need to be able to hit twice which i can at the moment i'm gonna move there and attack and then she's gonna go somewhere else mm. where i can't get to her Okay, sorry. Uh, what do you go there? There. I won't bleed on Zoe. So we spend the night here. Blue Scroll is going to give a free attack. Okay. Barry is bleeding, but that doesn't matter if we trigger blue scroll. In fact, we get the ferret to trigger blue scroll. Oh my god, so many status effects. <laughs> Five bleed, one poison, four burn. Uh, no, I can't attack her because I die. I would need to heal first um the ferret uh the ferret i think could do it i need to heal i can't get to the healing staff If I hit the phoenix... Okay, this is the second stage. Oh, no, maybe I'm alright. Oh, but then... We're going to have to spend the night again. Poison ball. Five poison to five random enemy cards in play. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. Let's... Just see. Uh, as soon as we rest, Ferret's dead. But we could send the Ferret, hang on, we could send the Ferret along the bottom to kill her. Uh, the Ferret will die, but that's okay, I think. I don't think we lose the run. If the Ferret dies, we just lose the Ferret from our deck. But it doesn't matter because it's the end of the run. I think. I think. So. Let's see. Wait, oh, we just spend the night. Hang on. We spend the night and she takes four damage. Uh, yeah. The ferret's fine. 
and leave the ferret there anyway. Switch back to him. Go there, there, there. Grab the gold for whatever it's worth. Three provisions. Spend the night. Yes! We do still have to get to the votive altar. Okay. It's one thing I hadn't reckoned on. Uh, however, ferret can reach the wheat. So that will... I've got to... Oh, hold on, I've got to get... If ferret reaches the wheat... Oh, then, we, then he can cycle back down that way anyway. I think we're good. Uh, yeah, let's just go there and get rid of that status effect. Just in case. Uh, go do the healing staff thing. Do two damage there. Switch back. Gold coins. Uh, you know, poison ball, why not? Poison ball, why not? Get rid of you. Up, up. There, there, there. Done. Phew! Back to the village. 61. Demo complete. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> You've completed the demo's final quest. There we go. Continue the game. I, I want to see... Wait, I want to see what um, what we get when we unlock the other thing. We unlocked the Sigil of Fury because we uh, did the challenge where we had to trigger our special ability 35 times. I think it was to unlock that. Um, good. How much wood did we get, actually? Do we have enough wood? We've got 45 wood. We have plenty. So... Let's just rebuild the cartography workshop. Uh, which means that danger zones can now have various new rules. Uh, including Blood Moon enemies have minus 1 HP but gain 3 HP when you spend the night. Immunity no status can be applied. Night death when an enemy dies you receive a skull. You spend the night with... What is that sound? Me mousing over this. Weird sound going on in the background. Um, you spend the night with skulls rather than provisions. Okay, interesting. Uh, burn damage inflicted as soon as the status is applied. So yeah, all kinds of stuff here. Um, that can change the way the game is played. When a status is applied, doubles its value. Special powers cost the provision enemies of minus one HP and the sentinel passive effect. Wow, okay, and uh, yeah. Tw oh, 21 to upgrade that to level 2. Uh, which we don't quite have. Uh, ah, but we do have... Oh no, okay, we can't upgrade the tavern. I thought we might be able to upgrade one of these other things as well, but we can't. Presumably upgrading that will add more rule variations. Uh, but yeah, what's nice is if you don't like any of these, you can just click on it to deactivate it. Um, so you can only get the stuff that you don't hate I guess good that's very cool I really like that um yeah there's a bunch more different uh characters what well, one two three four five six other characters uh available in the full game um as well as the forge uh which I guess is where we can go to get equipment uh, sanctuary. God sometimes grants us strong powers to help us on our quests. And archives where we record everything we do among other things. Don't know what that is. Um, warehouse. Uh, also not available in the demo. Don't know what that's going to be. But yeah, there you have it. Um, what a cool little game. Demo is available now on Steam. The full game is out uh, sometime in 2024. Not sure when. Uh, but wishlist it if it looks like something that you're interested in. And also go check out uh, Forward Escape the Fold as well uh, by the same developer. Uh, a much simpler game than this, but a similar kind of um, similar kind of feel to it, I guess. Anyway, that's going to do it for me for now. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time, Speedy Alama signing out. Bye for now.